So here's my studio. So piano, pretty important. It's a pianet, so it doesn't have a sort of a top bit on it, and I ripped all the panels off it, so it's easy to mic up. But I also have some <coughs> Rode M5s set up in an ORTF, and I've got my own homemade uh, damper pedal in there, which is just a set for th piece of felt. So when you it hits the hits the other side of the felt over here. Uh, harmonium here, which again you mic up in this part at the front here. Um, Rode M3, really versatile microphone there. Got my guitars behind my main workstation here. There's the more modern keyboards here, so the bass station, the micron, and my uh, MIDI controller. Um, 61 key which is a pretty good amount to have this is the um, the livid guitar wing so this is the thing that you stick on your guitar and sends wireless messages via MIDI quite handy for just sort of changing up the way you do things um, and then older synthesizers over here um, Roland Alpha Juno 2 uh, um, what is this thing it's a VSS 30 um, Yamaha and the one at the bottom is an Ensonic SQ1, which is very old. A uh, bunch of outboard equipment that I really only use for live stuff these days. Delays, reverbs, uh, bit crushes and that kind of thing. Um, some of my instrument collection up here. Uh, Moon Loot from Vietnam. And uh, uh, it's like a Aarhu, but it's not. It's from another country. Uh, banjo, mandolin. Mandola over there, which is in a state of uh, disrepair. Nylon string guitar, and sort of the main, and, and another bunch of um, synthesizers and things here. Uh, I've got a delay unit there and um, some MIDI um, patch bays. Um, a Lisa's D4 drum machine, Ultra Pro Proteus, and the stupidly named Korg 01R slash W, and a patch bay at the bottom for patching all those things into the audio interface which is here so that's got eight ins and eight outs that one down there Fo uh, focus right scarlet 18 i20 and i've got my uh, trio mind print on the top here which is a uh, a monitor um, station i suppose um, so it's got it's a bunch of inputs on the back you can plug things in and but the cool thing is is you've got a main volume control um, you've got talk back on it if you need it, um, two sets of headphones here and you can have three lots of speakers for different types of monitoring. It's got a mono, so you can mono your mixes straight away and a dim button so you can um, quieten things down a bit. It's actually got quite a nice input stage here um, for my instrument with a, that, that can provide phantom power and um, a type of compression built into it as well. Uh, my monitors are uh, Adam F7s, which are pretty cool, I'm pretty happy with those with ribbon tweeters and a uh, 27 inch iMac um, which is you know, my main station which is running uh, Logic and Pro Tools uh, and Ableton Live and as you can see at the moment I'm doing a backup, very important to back up your work. Now as you can see on the walls I've got these homemade uh, absorption panels which I just made out of pine and um, as frames and they've got a rock wall on the top this is the one hanging above the station here so that's just I made all these myself stuck them on the roof myself and it's got there's the rock wall stuff um, very, very solid and of course in the corners I've got um, these uh, base traps which I ordered from the US around about I think about $300 um, one in each corner a uh, picture of Yonsei on the wall there from Sigaros. This one I had to, uh, base trap I had to cut to shape. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cramped space, but um, it works pretty well for me. And of course, and I've got the 3.7 meters long, 3 meters wide, 2.8 average, 2.6, sorry, average ceiling height. And um, in this internal wall, it goes through to a, sp a spare room in here, which is just kind of full of junk, but this 
internal wall here is um, full of um, the same stuff that's in those um, absorption panels, those uh, rock wall, and all the walls are full of the rock wall. So it's a very quiet space when you close. The door is really, really good for listening. Uh, my collection of Fender guitars, including the uh, bass here that I made myself. <laughs> 